Hello guys and girls, Voices from the Dark here, welcome back to the Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion, where we are doing backflips off of rooftops, that's exactly how excited we are, the adoring fan is with us, and our journey to Leowin can begin. We have a, we have a plan for the road though, we want to head down to Leowin because there are a lot of quests in the area, we also want to stop by Border Watch to grab a copy of a Black Hood. And along the way, we have the Shrine of Hercene, a Daedric Prince, but last time we came across this shrine, we were far too low a level. But now we have the level, and we have the offering, and so we are going to head over there. We're also going to be stopping by a couple of places along the way so we can invest. Make sure we stop by Ninyan Twill and grab the Varla Stones that I missed, because I do consider that part of the completion if I know I missed something. And then there are a couple of Nurn routes along the shore, some cool ruins, and... Perhaps some spontaneous adventure along the way. So we will set our first marker near the idyllic little village of Pelsgate. And we will see how many jumps in a row we can actually do if we could jump across an entire lake. I'm starting to get the timing down a little bit when it comes to jumping on the water. It's just as her boots hit. But if you're a little late, she falls down. But it's a wonderful way of traveling. Loving it. So, here we are then. The wonderful city of Pell's Gate. How long did that take? 15 seconds? You're a fit one. Been running a lot. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. So as you can see, Schlera actually has leveled gear. Yes, there's. she always runs around like leveled light armor gear. It's quite cool. The sleeping mare is somewhere we will need to go. I cannot quite remember what quest Pelsgate is from. I wonder if it might be from the Daedric quest that revolves around Umbra, which I believe is the Clavicus Vile quest. Ooh, crumpled piece of paper. Hi. Somebody's been trying hard. Hello, Candice. What can I do for you? You can take some money. I would gladly let you invest in my shop. And now I plan to never see you again. Take care. Take care. Can't think of a single good reason I'll be back. And then, perhaps I will be back. At some point. You never know. You never know these things. You don't know where life's going to take you. So now, we're just gonna go along, grab a couple of Nurn Roots here, before we head down and talk to her scene. Now, her scene's quest is gonna point us in the direction of Har Harkane Grove. Which we did find quite a while back during our first trek to Breville. But at the time, we didn't have the appropriate quest, and there were minotaurs there. So, yeah, little marina mistfire from many, many ages ago would simply not be able to survive. Do those goblins see me? No. Is there a mud crab nearby? Does he want to get backflipped on? I'll backflip on a mud crab. I'm sure that would actually kill him. All right, prepare for the backflip. Boom! See that? Kill him with a backflip. Pure backflip. Get out. Wait. There we go. So, are all of our spells set back to normal? Because we want a Surus Star on 7 so we can use the souls to fill up our epic weapons. And I really, really want to delve into some more dungeons now. Because I've gotten a bit of a renewed, renewed hope when it comes to getting items. Because lately we found... Did we find both a skill book and a Master Limbic in the same episode? If not, they were like one episode apart. We got the Master Retort, which is very nice, so I really want to stop by another Necromancer dungeon along the way. I also... Silly mud crabs. Yeah! I also really want to stop by some Oblivion portals, because there are some very powerful effects out there, and now I even have with me some gear that we can instantly enchant. I have the Wrist Irons, so we need to get some bomb-ass enchantment for that. And then we also have... Let's see, what, what enchantments are we missing? Yes, we, we have the amulets with us. The uh, Arnora's amulets, the one that was fake and the one that was real. They have the same design as the Amulet of Kings, and it's... It's enchantable! So, we're gonna make something really, really good looking. Most likely a elemental shield, magic resist, something potentially powerful that will always be... That will always be of use to us, for the most part. Now... There is actually a ring in this game that gives you 50% resistance to magic. I believe it. Oh! Yeah! 
Oh, hey, Wolfie. I guess I didn't need to go and get the wolf pelt at home then, but I'll just, I'll just leave you here to die. I mean, you're already dead, so I'll leave you here to rot. That's more appropriate. There is a ring that has 50% magic resistance, but we can only get it in a certain location during the main quest, and it's a place we can only reach after we've closed all Oblivion portals, because it's it's that late into the main quest. Portals have started closing by that time. So we won't be able to get it, so we're still going to be interested in getting some resist magic from time to time. There we have her scene. Can we just uh, jump up and have a little, a little talk with you? There we go. I feel like we can talk more, you know, mortal to god this way. Summoned by prey, the hare crouches before the fox's muzzle. Perhaps I should ask you, mortal, sent you to hunt for my amusement. In Harkane Grove is a quarry worthy of the chase. First named, last tamed. The unicorn runs wild there. Bring me this creature's own mortal, if you dare. Kill a unicorn? That sounds great. I'll stop spazzing out on your statue now and get going. There's a good thing we've already found this. Now, I believe you can actually tame and ride the unicorn. If you do it successfully or correctly. Oh, we have a, got a troll on the loose here. Hey, mind buggering off? Don't have time for you. Oh! It's freaking bears, man. They come out of nowhere. Oh. We gotta be where be be bear bear where of I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that one there. Okay, so they have like three minotaurs walking around it. No wonder we were scared of this when we were lower level. Okay. So don't worry. I have the perfect weapon. If we wanna hunt a unicorn, we gotta do it from afar. So let's sneak up here. You, you need arrows before you can fire a bow though. It goes an elven once. <laughs> All right, we got the unicorn. The unicorn has fled. We can chase after it now, but we ought to we ought to deal with these boys, really. Uh oh, uh oh, trouble! Get out of here, unicorn. We we we'll deal with you later. Oh boy, I wonder if that unicorn just resists some magic. Cause he's he's actually pretty strong. Okay, so these minotaurs aren't too happy. Now there's a bear. Is he attacking the unicorn for me? I guess I'm Team Bear. I am definitely Team Bear from now on. Okay. Let's let's just calm this mess a little bit. There we go. You two. Paralyze effect resist. Yeah, I actually think the bear wants to help here. Okay, this is great. One. Two. One. I'm gonna kill the bear at this point, but that's fine. The bear will have to, will have to go on without it. Do we have more Welkin stones? We do. Two, one. Oh, don't freeze me now! I have to deal with finishing. Blow, blow! I said blow. Oh, they are. Why are they not dying? They're so powerful. They are so strong. Oh, yeah. I guess some good old stabbing with Aetherius. Even that barely dented him. I hope these guys are just particularly strong and this is not a sign of the minotaurs that are to come. There we go, he went down pretty well. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, horsey. Let's see, can we, I don't think I can calm it even, even if I use recruit creature. Yeah. He's not having it, he is not having it, he wants to charge me with that horn. Coming straight for me right now. So, I think we need to just get a little bit of personal space here. I'm sorry. Ah. Get out of here. Now these guys were using some weapons that aren't too exciting. They don't have any particularly good loot either. Alright, let's end this unicorn. You and me. 
You and me, buddy. While that weakness lasts. Yeah. Right, we don't have charge on that. That's that's sort of the whole point. We need to we need to charge it up again. Yeah. Come on. Little unicorn healing up. There we go. Thank you. Man, that unicorn did not want to die. It's like he didn't want to be extinct or something. Man, it really put up a put up a fight, that guy. Okay. I guess we shouldn't leave this one Minotaur roaming the forests. That wouldn't feel very good, because I don't know if these guys respond, but I feel like they shouldn't. Did you, I didn't ask you to... I did not ask you to fire Marina. Okay, whatever. Just gotta make sure that we can't miss. Apply poison. There we go. No. Oh. Feisty boy! You very, very feisty boy. Actually, I have plenty of poisons. I could probably apply one after applying some weaknesses. That might be a very good strategy. We'll see. Yeah. Definitely one of the better strategies. Weaken them first, then poison them. Sounds self-explanatory, but, you know, that's how it goes. So there we go, good job, we killed a unicorn, everybody. Don't you feel good about yourself? I know I do. Now, when looking on the map, I noticed that there was a fort over here, named Fort Variella, or something of that sort. And I believe it's a, it's it's a necromancer dungeon. I it, it, it does contain some alchemy stuff. So I'd like to just have a brief little look inside. Oh. And see if we can find some some nice things. I'm quite hopeful at the moment. That's the thing. It's an episode of hope. Oh boy. Oh boy. Stun like train. Choo choo coming into the station. Thank you. Little doggy. Well then. Fort Variella. Let's see what you have to offer. Somebody as powerful as me. We'll most likely sleep on the next bedroll we find, I think. We don't need to postpone it. To arms. To arms. There we go, necromancers, that's very good. I mean, I have way too many potions already, so... I don't really want more of those. But, they might have some ebony daggers. They have been known to carry them. Okay. Enemy right in the door there. Gotta line that up. Look who we got! Who we got. Did not even get to realize who killed her. Should be an honor to be killed by me. You poor woman. You did not even understand the grand majesty in your presence. She's I mean, it's hard not to get full of yourself when you're the only person in Cerebdil capable of doing anything. Like, oh, there's uh, my potatoes, they're missing. Can you find my potatoes? Oh, there's a demonic invasion that wants to take over the world. Can you do something? It's like, jeez, do something for your, like, instead of standing around all day looking for a hero, go out, do something, explore. Be the protagonist of your own life. That's my inspirational quote of the day, everybody. So take that to heart. <sighs> okay. So as I said in the last one where I was down in a ruin like this, I was surprised to find a master retort in a normal chest. Turns out that necromancer dungeons, in any chest in a necromancer dungeon, there's a 10% chance of being a piece of alchemy equipment. So that's very promising. We don't even have to wait for boss chests. There could be a master alembic in this one. But... You know, it's, it's not like I was hoping for a Master Alembic there or anything. I'm, I'm fine not getting it. There we go. Just gotta pray to Lady Luck. And, ah, get a good hour of sleep there. By superhuman effort, you can avoid slipping backwards for a while. But one day, you'll lose a step or drop a beat or miss a detail. And you'll be gone forever. That's a, that's a pretty nice way of summing up the challenge. We get that plus two to personality. As I said, we have like 30 plus more levels to go, so we should be fine. 
we should be fine, but I definitely want to get as much agility and strength per level because they're just skills that are constantly useful. Every stagger I take can potentially be fatal. It's just something to... something to keep in mind. Let's go into the staff quarters of Fort Variella and see if anybody's around. Oh, somebody said, hmm? That's a... They've lost me already. Oh, hey. Did I just miss with two of them? I did. Go, doubt. Go die. Go die in a fire, you hag. Just die. Why won't you die? I feel West Johnson's pain now. At long last, I've become one with it. Okay, now these strong portions of sorcery, how much do they give me? So it's basically the same weight-wise as consuming a Welkin Stone, but they would sell for 180, whereas a Welkin Stone would sell for 50. So Welkin Stones are still better to pop, but right now where my health is getting a little scary, I think I'm gonna pop a, a heal spell here. Potentially a heal potion as well. I shouldn't be so stingy on them. Cause I have a weak one and then I still have a couple of normal ones. So we'll try to get those out of the way because I have more strong ones than I know what to do with. Every Mace is nice. Mace is nice. We can take it for now. Probably gonna stop by Breville and do some shopping and such. So, not to worry. We can sell off some stuff at that point. So I'm all... I'm good with that. Who's there? Hey, okay. Who's there? I'm so alarmed. Who could it be? Is it the Amulet of Kings? Come back here, Joffrey. You bold bat. Oh, he just outlasted the effect. That's mm, a bald beauty. A freaking bald beauty. Should beat him with the Trungeon of Submission, then I'll only heal him, and he might actually enjoy it. That weirdo. All right, I'll poison him to death then. Oh, oh, oh! We were gonna play this game. How are we gonna play that game? The the game where you're a little bitch. Go die. Oh, oh, hey. Hey there, Missy. How you doing? You really want to toss a spell at a Breton, huh? Ah, there we go. Got to use up my damage health effects, or my damage health poisons. They were weighing one, so I was a little eager to get rid of them. So we did. Good. Good, good. Clearing this like it's nobody's business. Forts and dungeons in general tend to go better than portals to hell, but I feel like that's not a surprise. Uh, I might have forgotten to check a coffin. Uh, every Ooh, that's good loot. That'll max out certain cash stacks and it weighs 15. Is that the first glass curious we've come across? I feel like it is. I've seen some glass every now and then, but nice. By that I mean weird. <laughs> But good. Always glad to see that we're getting awesome stuff. Any really heavy poisons that we have? No, so I'll just pop up on a fire damage one, I think. Now, Aetherius is gonna need a little bit of charge, so we can't really use that at the moment. So we should go and switch over to a... So actually, we should try to kill somebody with a spell. Straight up kill him with a spell. Now this is a hard chest. I also like the design of it. It looks a little different. I'm not sure if that constitutes it being a boss chest, but we'll see. Ooh, I think that was a boss chest because that was a lot of gold hidden away under the bridge there. Very nice, very nice. But we haven't met like a necromancer adept, not a proper boss. So there's probably going to be more. A little saddens, but I think. The best is yet to come, actually. So let's see if we can kill somebody with the spells we can cap- Well, we can't capture the souls of humans. I knew that, I was talking about- If they summon something! Ah, this leads back, that was the final place! Oh, that was the chest, too. Well, what did it contain? Absolutely nothing. That was a fort short! Fort sh f Was that a fort short? That was a really fort short, everybody. Very good. A supremely short fort. Got some treasure, got some booty. Very nice, portal to hell over there, looking good. 
Wonderful as always. Minotaur down there. I'm just gonna... Hey, buddy. Oh, no. If he's gonna be moving, then... Screw it. I'm gonna cancel that arrow by rolling, because, you know, that's how you cancel an arrow. Bye-bye. I want to head on down to the shore here. This place looks really nice. I like the design of it. There's not a lot to find down here by the shore of Fort Variella, but you have a couple of mud crabs just, you know, talking, engaging in casual conversation. Oh, I should have captured the soul of that minotaur. I don't know why I didn't think about it. I don't even think I need a charge to kill you, you puny thing. So we're gonna get a little bit of... Actually, that ought to suffice. Perfect. But who... Oh, another one! Boom! Thank you. I'll send you back to the, to the waters now. Go! Be free! And there's a secret Nurn root. How did I know? It's almost like I was aware of its presence. Nice. 50 gold and a nice little, a nice little place to be. It's a nice little unique location. Let's see, we're gonna, we're gonna go for this one. Then we're gonna go for Traveler's Grace. Now there's just one more Nurn route we want to grab before we head back to her scene. Fine, I'll just stab him. I think I get more charge on average. This little island over here looks pretty nice, looks pretty idyllic. And there's actually a little bit of a Nurn route on it. It's also one of the places that I just tend to never go. Like, I haven't really explored along the coast here all that much. Hey, Muddy! Yeah. yeah! Oh well. Guess it's a proper sapping for you. That's the killing blow you'll get. Doing. Thank you, you're perfect for filling up this bad boy. Killing crabs to make a weapon that can slay gods. That's Marina Mistfire's life in a nutshell. Oh my gosh, there are a lot of them. This is just an absurd amount of mud crabs. Not good. Great destruction training, though. Hey, Muddy! Oh, sorry, did I muddy the waters? I really wish if you cast it in water, it would actually have an effect on the water. If you cast electricity in water, or if you cast a fire spell on somebody standing in water, it would they wouldn't take as much damage. You know, small attentions to detail like that. I'll look at my quiver. Just have one arrow, because that's all I need. Really, it is. I just need to apply the poison, and the poison sort of takes care of the rest, so that just... Oh boy, a bear. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, so we missed. You know, it, 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 it happens. Oh boy. Getting close to 100k. I don't know if we surpassed 100k earlier, or if we were close, but before we spent a lot of money, I think we bought a house or something similar. Got him out of there, so I'm filling up that major staff of paralysis again. I don't feel like it's as good anymore. I mean, it's nice being able to incapacitate them, but six seconds is not a lot. By the time I've cast out paralysis on a lot of them, one of them tends to wake up, you know? Hmm. Whatever. I've done your task. Yes, Hunter. Make your offering. Did you taste its flesh and drink its blood? Never waste the spoils of a kill. You've pleased me, Hunter. Take my token, and wear it well. Hereafter, take your prey, and whisper my name. Quest complete. Her scene was impressed with my skill in hunting the unicorn. He's awarded me with the Savior's Hide. So let's see what that's like in Oblivion. Ooh. Resist magic 25%? Ooh, I did not even consider looking up the statistics for this item because I wasn't really sure if it was going to be useful. But with that, we now have 70. If we combine the Savior's Hides, it's like a spell shield, a free spell shield. With, well, the Gates of Aetherius wouldn't do it, but if we combine spell shield with it, that should give us enough. Boom, because we'll get a little less spell effectiveness, but overall, resist magic, yeah, 103. We'd actually be immune to magic if we wear this, so we should keep that in mind around sorcerers. 
Still, casting out Gates of Ethereus is, on average, better, but it is not bad. Nice, another Daedric artifact in our possession. So, where do we want to go next? You might remember when we killed Rufio, we did that at the Inn of Ill Omen. And the Feragal Inn is also right nearby. And inns are places with a with an innkeeper. An innkeeper is a merchant. A merchant can be invested in. And we are actually very close to investing in every merchant in the game. Once we do the last couple of inns, we stop by Breville and Leowin. We've done most of them. I believe we're over 80 merchants invested in right now, and I believe there are going to be between 90 and 100 total merchants in the game. It's a little hard to calculate because the unofficial Oblivion patch changes them a little bit. Some of them, which are who aren't supposed to be merchants, are no longer merchants, and people who are supposed to be merchants are merchants <coughs> now, so... Nice. Oh, by the... I just... I just thought of something. Where's... Where's the adoring fan? Where's he been in all of this? I was supposed to go on an adventure with him, but I think I left him behind. I don't think he has the ability to leap across water. <laughs> Pleb. That's really... He, he'll probably arrive at, at, at some point. I wonder if I just stay the night at the inn if he's gonna catch up to me. Always a pleasure. Hello, Mannheim. Hail, friend. Good to see you again. What could old Mannheim help you with? Now, I wonder, I believe Mannheim is, because every NPC has a stat, uh, I'm trying to remember the name of the stat right now, but it's their, how tolerant they are when it comes to thefts and crimes and such, and I believe he has it so low, Little food and drink will do you some good, that I can actually sell stolen items to him. Yes, he will actually accept stolen items despite not being a fence. So that's that's funny. He just doesn't care. He's like, ah, whatever. Is there anything here we want? He has a singular lockpick, but I think I just want to invest in you. I would gladly let you invest in my shop. Great. How's Rufio? Rufio? Well, he was killed, murdered, right here in my inn. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought business was bad before. When this gets out, I'll never rent another room. Uh... Bye-bye. Goodbye, my friend. And remember, you're always welcome here. Yeah, I don't think I'm staying in a place like this. I'm just gonna wait a couple of hours and see if the adoring fan decides to show up. No, I think he got lost in the forest. Probably eaten by a bear or something. You know, I, I think that's for the best. I think I've done the world a favor. So we also just want to head down the road and check out the Faragile Inn. It's an interesting choice that they wanted to have two inns here, but the road did branch, so I guess they just felt they had to <gasps> have something at either end of it. And there's an Oblivion portal, like, right nearby. And it is tempting me. It is teasing me, like, hey, Dark, I got a sigil stone. I want to take Good a look at it. it. You know, I'm like, hey, maybe, uh, maybe. Well met. Hello, Abuki. I would gladly let you invest in my shop. Goodbye, Abuki. Take care. Take care of your watermelons. It's on the floor, woman. You're neglecting it. Because I don't like this. I don't like the fact that you walk by and it's like, oh, well, we're in hell now. So we should probably do something about that. But first, we want to head westwards, go over to Nenyan Twill, and it's been quite some time since we actually set out and did that quest. It doesn't feel like it was all that long ago, but that, it was before we travel to Anvil, so that says something. I believe it might be repopulated. Good thing is, repopulated dungeon means we once again have a chance to get some good loot. Besides, I really, I, I couldn't sleep at night knowing that we didn't get the Varla stones in here. So, something has to be done about that. Uh, of course, they got some real nasty stuff now that we're higher level. Because I believe this used to be a ghost. So... Or was there even anything there? Oh boy. Right, the nether lich is a little different. But... Ooh, Staff of Catastrophe. What is that? I can't remember the name. It's probably something really bad. Oh. Okay, yeah, that was... That was a bit like I was expecting. What we ought to do in here is that we should have spell shields. Spell shield would really help. Now somebody actually sees me and they're trying to chase me down here, which is interesting. 
Okay, so let's have spell shield on eight. And I believe I also want to pop the gates of Ethereus. Not right now, but soon. Okay, a necromancer spawned him. Oh, I didn't mean... Oh, that was the gates of Ethereus? I thought that was my other spell that has the exact same icon. Oh, well, that's fine. That's fine. So, we're now gonna cast out spell shield and boom. Look at that. We have 100% resist magic. So, come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Don't... Don't run. You're only gonna make this worse. You're only gonna make this worse. I am immune. Thank you. Grab myself an ebony mace. Now, since I have the Gates of Ethereus active, I think I just gotta push forward, actually. Sip up on some healing like that, and then grab a push. I think I just dropped that when I wanted to sip it. Who's there? How awful. Well, well. Look who we've got here. Look who we've got here. We got a destruction skill level. That's who we got right here. Yeah! We have Ethereus. Wonderful thing about Necromancers is that I can actually use what they summon against them, and I can recharge Ethereus there, so... It's very nice. I think we're gonna take... What? Oh, well, we should probably take the, these shoes and replace them with the Wanderer shoes, because it's not a lot of change in fashion, but it still looks pretty. Ooh. Ah, oh, that Aegis robe. It's a great robe, so, you know, I'll... I'll accept it. That's the second robe we found. That's a little interesting. I also think then we're going to... The Frost Shield is good, especially since I'm in a dungeon like this. I'd want to remove something that just gives me physical protection. So I think what we're going to do is that we're going to get like the Wanderer's Diamond Ring. Just so we can carry a little bit more. See, I'm, 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 I'm learning. We've gotten very, very picky right now with the loot. To a pretty good degree, I feel. I feel like we're now at a healthy level. Okay, there's there's a ghost. I think I actually want to equip the Savior's Hide for this dungeon right here. Just so we can actually get a use for the Daedric Artifact. And it's gonna be handy. Thank you. Thank you. We're also gonna be finding so many potions. More potions than we'll know what to do with. So I guess we'll just... I guess we'll just sip them. Is that the expert alembic? That's still better than what I have. It's not master, but I'll I won't complain about that upgrade. Very nice. Let's make a new damage health six points for twenty three seconds. I feel like that's our old effects. I feel like that's as powerful as our old effects. Shock damage seven points for twenty seven. Oh well. Even if it is just as powerful as our old one, it's still it looks better. And it weighs the same, so... That's fine. Totally fine. Don't mind that. I guess just having one at all is good. I believe I did read, though, that the Alembic is bug- I mean, I already know it's bugged, but that the Master Alembic does not give you more power than an Expert Alembic. Something like that. So, it, it's not- it's not too bad. Okay, I think we're going to equip the Savior's Hide here. It's going to make our attacks a little bit weaker, but we'll deal with that. Now, we don't really have any proper pants to wear with it, so we're just going to do the Wanderer's... the Wanderer's Pants, I think. Okay. Now we're going to try to slab, slab, slab. Slab is a new way to do a stab, I guess. And we're out of charge. Good thing I just killed something that gives me a soul. You're getting exponentially weak. Oh. Damn! You can take a beating! So we need a way to kill you then. A good way. Where I can properly beat you into a pulp. Now we have plenty of soul gems actually, so I can continue using Ethereus if I want to. And I do want to because that was just enough to kill him. Staff of Lethargy. What's that like? Drain speed. Yeah, I'm gonna draw these staffs here. They're not that exciting. Okay. Then we're gonna wait around, get the spell shields, and let's do it. The good thing about this dungeon is that it's not too big. We're almost through it, and we still have a chance to get some boss loot at the end, I think. 
So we're gonna open up this one right here and see what we can find inside. I'm hoping some alchemy gear. Okay. That was greedy. You just got it, Dark. Wow. You know, it's just, you know, just a little share of the goods. That's all. That's all I want. Boom. All right, I'm gonna capture some souls here, boys. Thank you. And we can fill the Therias right back up and really make you pay. No, woman, woman, woman. Don't, don't go anywhere. Can't be drinking up. It's probably why they have so many potions on them. Oh, because they like to heal. Oh boy. Skeleton summoning a skeleton. Is there something ethical there that, that's just really off? Is that just me? Boom. Oh, there he is. There's the big boy himself. Okay, I would want spell shield for this. Good. Now we should be fairly, fairly set. Pop that Welkin stone. Hey, boy. Nice to meet ya. Hey! It's the best. <sighs> Have we entered the age of Daedric? It's insanely heavy stuff. Insanely heavy. But at the same time, it's Daedric stuff. Oh, it's sadly, I mean, I'm... Am I picking up something worth 1,500 and weighs 39, but not something worth over twice as much that weighs four more? That does not really make sense, Dark. Okay, we're, we're taking it. We're taking it. So what we're supposed to do with these cages is that we actually have some buttons on the sides in the water. I didn't think to check in the water and I sort of just forgot about them. Yoink. So a couple of Arla stones is gonna be perfect for some emergency and chance. I like to keep at least one handy just in case we need it. Or some refilling rather. Instead of enchanting. Okay. Is that the boss chest in here? I think it might be. I think this is it. Everybody. Get hype. Bada ba bum. Bada ba bum. Bada ba bum. Bada ba bum. Seven gold? Seven whole gold pieces. Wow. Generous much. Oh. There was more gold in that. There was seven gold. Seven. Oh, was there a chest over here where we found Musianus? No, yes, I knew that. Weak potion. Oh. Okay, okay. Say okay, everybody's happy. Well, we got we got the Varla Stones, checked out the place. Got an upgrade to our Alembic, which is always nice, and there might be more to come. Punch this guy's face in. He doesn't seem to like that at all. And good night. Don't, you come back here, bastard. I don't know why I'm tossing out my fist, I'm just having a little bit of fun here. But I'll end your misery now. Oh boy. Perfect. We'll take those. So much good loot on necromancers. In the form of potions and scrolls and... we we'll go grab most of that with us. Books that we do not care about in the slightest. And a final chest. Which did not reveal anything. Extraordinarily exciting. But it was still an adventure. We got to use the Savior's Hide, get some magic resistance. That's always fun. And this probably leads back out to the start. Okay. Very good. I think we can go back to the Aegis Robe now. Well, one of them. We got another copy. Okay, so we do need to unequip something else. We don't even have a proper hood. I think. Let's do, let's do Cruelty's Heart, I think. Let's do Cruelty's Heart for now. Okay. Wonderful. Great. Here we are. Should probably try to make our way back to... 
back to where we were. Back to the inn. But I am eyeing the portal by the inn. Because it's just so close to the road. And we have plenty of re-rolls. We can re-roll twice. So we have the potential to get three different ones. And if even one of them has the effect that we want... That's good. We even have the wrist irons in our inventory. So I'm... I am considering it. I'm considering what we should do there, but... For now, I want to stop by the Farrag Island. I'm so happy to see you again. Have we ever it's met? You. Oh, Red, right. it's the potato girl. What's the news from the other parts? I want her to sit Island. down here, ah, eat some breads, and land. have a good day. Well, guys and girls, the first part of our trek towards Leowin has begun. Lots of adventure, lots of stuff getting done, and one very lost, adoring fan somewhere out there in the forest. I feel bad for him. Have a still good day, take care and stay awesome. But most importantly everybody... Stay dark. Goodbye.